Good morning, friends. Paul McGinnis here with some thoughts for your daily walk. And today we move into the book of Mark. Uh, check back on some of the previous videos if you want to look at some thoughts from the Gospel of Matthew. But now we move into this second Gospel that we have. It was written by one of Peter's friends. And, and as Peter told these stories to John Mark, John Mark wrote them down and we'll take a look at some of them. And I love what we find in Mark chapter 2, verse 5. It's this unbelievable story about these friends who have compassion for one of their friends. He's crippled and, and he wants to find his way to Jesus. He wants to find the healing and the hope that Jesus can offer. And so these other friends stop at nothing to get their friend to Jesus. And it makes me wonder, you know, what stops us from bringing our friends to Jesus? What stops us from, from being a link in that chain that's reconnecting people to God? Because these guys would stop at nothing. They carry their friend to the house where Jesus is, but it's crowded. They can't get in. Some of us would stop there. They don't stop there. They decide to find another way. They climb up on the roof and they feel, well, what are we going to do now? Well, they don't stop there. They start clawing and digging through the roof of this house so that they can lower their friend down on his mat and put him at Jesus' feet. They will stop at nothing to bring their friends to Jesus. And then Jesus says this in Luke chapter 2, verse 5, when he saw their faith, referring to those friends, when he saw their faith, he said to the crippled man, son, your sins are forgiven you. Right? The, the faith of those other friends made an impact on this one man. Uh, the other thing that I love is that Jesus saw their faith. Right? Sometimes we think that, well, faith is, is just this internal thing. Hope, love, th these are just internal. These are just inside. But they're not. They have to flow out. People should see your faith. They should see your hope. They should see your love. When Jesus sees their faith put into action, that's when he responds. Let me say that again. When Jesus sees our faith in action, he responds to that. He sees our faith and then he joins that. And he, and he kind of makes our faith go even further. It's like the, the moving sidewalk at the airport, right? Where one step kind of moves you twice or even three times as far. When we take that step of faith, that's when Jesus steps in and does the miraculous and the remarkable. So continue to take steps of faith today. Don't just let faith be an internal thing. Let it flow out of you so that people, including God, can see your faith. And then Jesus steps in and does something remarkable. So help your friends find their way to Jesus. Take some steps of faith today. Let people see your faith and watch Jesus respond to that today.